guys. How's it going? Oh boy. Man, I've been going crazy today. Um, I had a bunch of people ask after that one video, like two back about, um, when I was doing the collaging, I had some people say that they would really love to see what I did with these, uh, with these pages after, after this. So I'm just going to jump right in here. Um, so last thing you guys probably saw was something like that. Okay. So once I got that, <laughs> once these dried, cause I sprayed these with a, a clear coat. Um, I didn't use the gloss. The one that I used is still out in the garage, but I used the satin finish one. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I did actually two coats on most of these in that satin and, uh, yeah, so then after I was done with that, I just took some strips of tape and some of that gauze bandage that I love. This is the old gauze bandage. Um, if you want to find something similar to this, then I recommend uh, extra fine cheesecloth. It's the kind that they use for wine making, but you can find it on Amazon. Um, it comes in a big sheet, so you have to cut it into strips. And that's why I like the bandage, because it's already in strips. Anyways, um, yeah, if anybody wants uh, a link to the... I'll just see if I can find it and put it in the description to the, the listing on Amazon for the extra fine cheesecloth. But anyway, so yeah, so got them all to this point, and then um, just added some strips of, like, um, the fabric and then tape masking tape and then I used some paper tape on certain ones um, and then I just cut them into random um, sizes random size tag shapes okay so some of them are smaller some are larger and then see how I just think it looks cool like there's just a piece of um, you know tape on there some of them I did some number stenciling on I added a little bit of um, you know, decorative paper on some, not very many. I think I only did that on like two, a little bit of washi tape. And then on, I would say maybe, I don't know, half of them. Um, I added some images, some flowers and butterflies, mostly flowers and butterflies. This is from a little flower book, you know, but trying not to cover up too much of the script and the writing that's on these. If there wasn't any writing at all, like really like this was pretty much blank behind that image. So I didn't feel guilty covering it up, you know? Um, yeah, so that's basically what I did. Um, these are not finished. I'm, I intend to do some major inking on these. I'm going to use a brush and, you know, really kind of go into the inside of the tags and, and do some inking and stuff like that. Um, probably with vintage photo and maybe walnut stain, um, darker, darker, um, inks. So yeah, so that's kind of how that turned out. These are the like smallish ones. And then I did a bunch of larger ones. So these I intend to use as pockets or tuck spots on pages and stuff like that. So that's, and then these will get stitched. I'll, I'll put like a row of, of stitching around the edges after I get done inking and stuff. I like to wait for the ink to dry before I do that. Um, yeah, so just lots of flowers and butterflies, pretty much. I love the contrast of these like really modern like images with the really grungy, um, you know, vintage paper and stuff. So that's those, um, some I didn't do anything to other than like, these were some of the letters that I just glued onto the file folder and just cut them up into shapes. And then I decided that I really liked what happened with the spray after I sprayed some of those big ones. So these, I were, these were pieces that I had just cut up like that of the letters. And then I actually glued them onto some of the onion skin that were, um, that had darker writing on them. I found a bunch in that book that were like darker writing. So like this one is much lighter. And then 
you know, see these are, this one's darker. So I sprayed these after I glued the, the, it's almost like tissue paper. It's onion skin paper, but it's very similar to like tissue paper. So if you wanted to try to get that same kind of look, um, you could use tissue paper. I would say, you know, I, I've seen videos where people actually tape it down to a sheet of paper around the edges and then just print some kind of pretty script on it that you can find online. Um, <clears throat> and then I did some like tall skinny tags. Okay, so these, um, these are, I'm going to make some pockets for these too, to either put in journals or just, you know, for whatever. So yeah, just making tons of tags. That's what I like to do in between journals. And these are kind of the medium size ones, medium to large size ones. And then, you know, I'll probably add some lace and stuff like that. So anyways, that's just where I've gotten to uh, from, from where I was uh, last time I, I did a video. These are the ones that are the English ones of just the little notebooks, pages from all my little notebooks. And I haven't done anything else to these yet. So I may, they might wind up just staying like that. I don't know. So that's where I'm at with the tags. And then today, <laughs> today I went crazy again and I did a bunch of envelopes. So I pulled out a bunch of like full page, like letters and stuff and glued them onto the backs of a bunch of envelopes that were either coffee dyed or avocado dyed. And I wanted to mention <laughs> in case, in case, you know, you guys want to try this. If it bugs you when you have text upside down on stuff like this, here's a trick. So if you take your envelope, so this one will work well. So you take your envelope, pretend I didn't glue that on there yet. Take your envelope and when it's opened all the way like this, if you open it flat and then have the flap facing towards you, lay it down and then whatever you want to glue on there, glue it right side up like this. And then when you fold this back up, this will be right side up and that will be right side up. Okay. Just, it's weird. I don't know. It took me forever to figure that out, but I did. Um, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Now these envelopes, just so you know, um, these were actually soaked in the dye bath for probably two days. I, I didn't necessarily need to leave them in there that long, but you know, life happens and I forget, forget about stuff. But, um, yeah, so these soaked for a really long time, which is why they just kind of fell apart. Like all the glue just dissolved off of the, off of the envelope. So these opened up really well after they dried, they didn't stick or anything. I have some where they did stick a little bit and, but it was pretty easy to just pop them apart um, because I wanted to retain this little flap. Um, so what I'm doing with these envelopes, this is the envelope project now is um, I want to make these into kind of like little folios and some larger folios too. And so I wanted these, to use as hinges for some larger like flaps, you know, like tip in or tip outs, you know? So yeah, so I wanted to make sure I keep these little flaps and I'm only using uh, like invitation envelopes. I'm not using the like triangular ones. I don't know what they're called, but if you look at uh, invitation envelopes, usually they're straight across or announcement envelopes. They're usually straight across like that. And most of the time they have this real thin little flap on the side. So otherwise they're like this where like this one is one of the triangular ones. Other kinds have flaps like that. And I mean, they would work for sure. You know, they would totally work. It's just, I like this shape. So, and I have a lot of envelopes that are straight across like that. Plus they're a lot easier to trim out after you um, cover them with paper. So just easier to cut a straight line. Um, I did, you know, trim the corners rounded on these, but anyway, so that's, that's what I'm doing. And I just did a whole bunch of them, different size envelopes, 
glued letters onto them. And then where the letters were, you know, maybe too small to cover, I filled in like around the edges with, with some other just random paper, you know, from different things. So these are not completely finished. I probably will add some embellishment and stuff to them. But um, yeah, so that's, so that's where I'm at right now. And I want to go in and add that little flap on the inside. I'll show you these. This is, this is kind of my prototype. Uh, when I was trying to decide if I was going to do this, I was like, okay, how much work is this going to be? So I just added a piece of avocado dyed cardstock onto that little flap on the inside of the flap. Okay. And then I added a piece of fabric. This is just white muslin right on the outside just to kind of strengthen that hinge. Okay. <clears throat> because, well, like here, it, it actually cracked open because this is watercolor paper. So it's kind of thick. So as it dried, you know, it does become brittle where the, um, like the coffee pools right there. Sometimes it can get kind of brittle. So, or if you dry them in the oven and, um, yeah, so they'll fold up like that. I'll probably do some collage on here and maybe like some, you know, blank paper that you could write on or whatever. I don't know. And then maybe even do, see, I pulled these out because I thought it would be fun to maybe add a little envelope on one of these pages, you know, when that flips out or something, I don't know, maybe, maybe add a little pocket right there, maybe a, um, a library pocket. I was thinking about, um, coffee dyeing or tea dyeing some library pockets to use on these. So, and then I'll do some kind of a closure. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what I'm planning to do with a bunch of these envelopes. And I thought I would work on a couple with you guys. And then, you know, maybe we could even embellish a couple of them. Um, so I pulled out some other paper. This was, this was paper from another, or from, this was actually from the olive oil ledger where, where I'm getting the, the real thin paper from. So <clears throat> this was in the back of that ledger. Okay, so this is just some really, <laughs> really old kind of brittle um, blank paper. A lot of, well, a lot of it's blank. There's most of the pages just have writing at the top, but it's really beautiful. So I definitely want to use some of that in some, some of the collage because I love the color of that paper and the texture and stuff is really neat. So I'm just, you know, I'm just saving all of the blank paper through, you know, when I go through my, my stash, um, I definitely want to use some of these pages because they're just super cool and grungy. Right. And then I pulled out these checks that I think I showed you guys the other day and, you know, just a bunch of other stuff that was in my drawer and, uh, oh, and the purple, <laughs> remember the purple paper that was in that ledger. So yeah, so I want to use some of this too. I don't know if I want to use a ton of purple, but I do want to use it here and there. Um, yeah, so I've got like a little stack of paper over here that I want to use. I pulled out some like full pages that I thought would work really well to just cover a whole envelope. Okay. So like some of these larger, these are just pages out of this ledger book. Um, that's the one that I thought I would use some of the blank paper from in uh, journals as pages and then some of the ledger pages. So anyway, you guys have seen all this stuff. <clears throat> I just wanted you to know what I was working with basically. So let's do a couple of these envelopes. I'll do a smaller one and then a larger one. Let's do that one. And then we'll do that one. It's really, you know, pretty, 
pretty basic. I'm just, uh, see like this one kind of tore. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because I'm gluing paper over that and I can just cut that paper, you know, along that, along that imaginary line, that line that goes across right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. So here we go. Yeah, this stuff is falling apart. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just pull this paper off that's kind of already falling apart. <laughs> and I'll just use that in different spots. Okay. So this is a this was a marriage license. And it looks like 1885 is the date on it. I know. And some of you guys are just like, oh my God, I can't believe she's tearing that up. But that's what I bought it for. You know, I bought it to use like this. And I'm tired of saving it. And I already went on my whole rant about that in my last video. So I won't do that again. But thank you for all your support, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. I'm glad that at least one other person agrees with me. Because trust me, I get a lot of flack about it. About how could you tear up that book? And like, like when I go to the bookstore, um, the owner of the bookstore, <laughs> he has made the mistake of telling other customers what I'm doing or like what I do with books. And so they, and they, they go in there and, and look for books that they think I might want so that they can buy them and they won't get torn up. So I told them, just keep your trap shut. <laughs> Nobody needs to know what I'm doing. Um, let's use a piece of this. Let's use one of these. Isn't that funny? People are trying to like rescue books from me. Actually, I want that to be on there. So hang on. Yeah, see, I didn't want to cover up all of all of that stuff, right? Because I think that's yummy. So I didn't want to just cover it up. I knew I was going to be kind of piecing this together at the end. Need a baby wipe. And then that one can go right there. All right. I'm going to trim this off now because... I want to fold this up. So it's good to fold your envelope kind of back into shape, you know, while it's still kind of wet from the glue so that it, as it's drying, it'll hold that shape better. Okay. So there's that one. I think that looks pretty cool. And so then I can add like a piece of lace across the top or something like that. And um, yeah, I love those different, different colors. So let's grab our smaller one. So as I open it up, I want to put the flap towards me so I know that that's my up. That's the up. <laughs> 
You know what I mean. Let's use one of these. So I like to apply the glue um, to the envelope instead of onto the paper because the envelope is a lot sturdier because I'm pressing relatively hard to get the glue down, right? So if I'm pressing on the paper, as the paper gets wet with the glue, it's going to tear easier. All right. And I just want to... Actually, <laughs> best thing to do is to turn that upside down and then put this on top. There. And then I use the baby wipe to smooth it down. There. And then fold this up back into shape. Okay. So now this is how the envelope goes. So this is upright. This doesn't have any writing there, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, and I'll let that one dry. So let's grab one that is kind of already, it's already dry. So this one, I've already trimmed it. And it's just got a letter glued onto it. Um, the back is going to be upside down. The writing will be upside down on the back, but on the front, it's fine. Okay, so I want to add something on here. I'm just going to add some of this paper. How this stuff is so falling apart. Actually, I'm going to do this on here, like right there. I just want some of it on here is all. Just because I love the texture of it and the color. It's really pretty. It's almost like purple kind of. Okay. Pat that down. And then maybe just a tiny bit up here. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And I'm going to add some other stuff over, over it too. Uh, where's those checks? Oh, wait, I want to use the page out of this notebook. I love this paper. just to add a little bit of like texture to it. This paper has a lot of texture. That there. Oh my God, where did I put those checks? In my pile. There they are. There they are. Okay. So let's see. That'd be pretty right there. And I'm going to do some inking on these also. So I'm not, you know, worried about like inking around the edge of any of these papers because these are going to get really distressed. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And I will probably add like a label or something on here somewhere too. So it's not 
where I want it to be, but it's, it's almost there. Okay. So just looking for a piece of cardstock in here. Okay, so this is just avocado dyed cardstock. So I want to measure how long this flap, how I want, how long I want this flap to be. So I'm just going to mark a little pencil mark right there, and then I have two flaps. So this one, I went up to the top of the flap, and then right there. So that's where I'm going to cut this, and I probably could tear it. That might. That might look better, but I'm not. Okay. So these are gonna get glued onto the inside of this little flap. So what I wanna do is Fold this about a half an inch shy of the edge, okay, because this is going to get glued onto here, and then this will fold in. I don't want this edge to be getting, like, caught on whatever I have on the inside, okay? Um, this is hard to explain. When it folds in, I just don't want that to hinder the movement of the page. Okay. Um, I may also add a tab on here. And if I do add a tab, I don't want it to be longer than this crease right here. I hope that, I hope that makes sense. Do you know what I hate though, is when I'm talking to somebody on the phone or something and they go, does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know why, but that just bugs me. Like I'm too dumb to understand what she said. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> okay, using the art glitter glue to glue this on because we all know if you want it to stick, use the old art glitter glue, right? I think it has plastic in it. I think it's got some kind of plastic or rubber or something. And I think that's why it grabs so quick. Something like that anyways. Okay. And then this one. I just refilled this bottle. So it's actually like glue is coming out of it super fast. And I put a new metal tip on there too. So it's not clogging up like it was. And I keep squeezing it like it, like it is clogging up. Okay. <clears throat> Where's my bone folder? Okay. I just want to crease these down a little bit better. Okay. And then I do want to reinforce that seam right there because this has the potential to get relatively heavy and I don't want it to tear, you know, so I'll just use some cheesecloth. Now this is just regular cheesecloth that I coffee dyed. Just going to cut off some pieces and this doesn't have to be like perfectly measured just cutting off a piece that I can glue right there and then I can trim off the excess later and I think I'm going to add a piece of um, some other type of fabric over this also so it'll be like two Okay, so when I'm gluing cheesecloth or other kinds of fabric, 
I like to use the Scotch permanent glue stick. It's just, uh, it's nice to spread out glue. Like I, that would be perfect, but it's not real great to spread. And I like the way that this holds fabric stuff. Really, it's awesome. So I'm going to kind of wrinkle it up a little bit on here. And um, sort of just tap it down. Because I do want this to be somewhat grungy, you know. <clears throat> I may just add like a piece of um, muslin or something on here too. So I'm kind of scrunching it up a little. And tap it down with the baby wipe. I'm not pushing it like that. I'm just tapping it. Just to push it down and so it makes good contact. Okay. Yeah, I like that. And then... I think I will add a piece of this. This is linen. Let me see if I can tear this. It's really hard to tear sometimes. Okay, good. That was easy. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to add a piece of this fabric onto that seam also. But this time I am going to use the art glitter glue because I don't really need it to spread, you know. I just need it to hold right there. Okay. And I can trim off ends of this if it if it's annoying, you know, or if it hinders the um, the operation of my hinge. Yeah, see, this has to really get stuck down. Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to trim off that edge because the envelope won't close, which is fine. Use sharp scissors. There. Okay, so that's that. That'll close up. This one, yeah, I probably should trim the top a little bit too. So as I'm doing this, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, since, you know, this is a prototype, basically, like I, I haven't gone into like full production yet. So this is my prototype. So what I'm thinking about is what are ways that I can do this um, to 20 envelopes and, and still do it, you know, relatively easily. So first thing I'm thinking is I love the cheesecloth. So what I would probably do then is I'll just take all the envelopes that I that I get all to the same point, okay, which is all of these, um, and I'll just do the cheesecloth on all of them, and then I'll go back and I'll just do, you know, this on all of them, and maybe I'll try to trim these, you know, to the right length so that I don't wind up having to go back and trim later, you know, just be more conscious of um the length on on those you know what i mean so that's gonna function like that 
And then I think I want to do something on the inside here. Let me get rid of this fabric for now. Put the lid on this glue. Somebody's going to say, put the lid on your glue. Okay, and then where's my pen? Oh, God. I lose my pen all the time. There it is. For the art glitter glue. I've lost like 20 of them. Okay. So that's that. So I'm looking for a piece of paper that I can glue onto the inside of here. That would be a nice paper to write on. A little smaller. Hold on. I mean, not that you can't write on this paper. You totally can. It's just, it's kind of textured because it's watercolor paper. So I just want to add something that is a little bit smoother, more pleasant to write on with like a ballpoint pen or something, you know. Plus I want to use this paper because I think it's really pretty. Okay, so there's that. And... I kind of like to do something like that on these. <laughs> Maybe I should use some of that purple paper, huh? I'm usually a lot more organized than this. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Hold on. All right. Hold the phone. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I had a stack of just plain paper I was looking for. I'm going to use some of this. This is just like an end paper out of one of these books. Just want to use it because I think it's just pretty, you know, and grungy. So I'll just sort of collage all kinds of different papers on the inside of this whole thing because I like this to be an area where you know you could write you know that's that's what the intention is even like on this flap and I think it would be cool if it was all paper that I had pulled out of this collection of notebooks and stuff So I definitely will be using some of that purple paper. <clears throat> but I also don't want to cover up all the avocado dyed paper either, you know, because I think it's really pretty. So that one. And then, yeah, I've got some little pages from a notebook. <laughs> Let's make it backwards. And then, you know, I could come back and maybe do some stamping or something, too, on some of these pages. <clears throat> or add other little bits of blank paper. Like, this is this is just a... This is from that. So I'm going to put that right there.
And then some of this stuff that has print on it. I'm going to layer that over the top of this one. I'm thinking about doing some ASMR videos <laughs> um, of just cutting paper and gluing paper and just like the sounds of crafting with no talking. And I know that I have had comments before like, you know, if you would just stop talking, <laughs> it would be a lot more enjoyable or whatever. And, um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that. Let me know if you're into ASMR, if you would enjoy something like that. Just, you know, the sounds of crafting, cutting paper and um, the fire in the background and that kind of thing. And I'll just shut up and I won't talk because I can. <laughs> I know how to do that. Okay, so that's the start. All right, that's just the beginning of this little idea. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so it'll all kind of fold up like that. I don't know what kind of closure I'm going to do, but yeah, I think this is really cool. So this would be a neat place to just store if you wanted to tuck this into another journal or if you wanted to just take this with you if you were going somewhere. Um, and you don't need your whole journal. Like, like if you're just going to go for a walk and, and write some stuff or whatever, you know, down to the beach or something. So it's not finished. I think I will add, I'm going to probably not going to finish this on this video, but I think I do want to add another little envelope here. So this one opens all the way up too. Okay. And I may add some more collage behind it. Like, I think this would look really cool right there. So let's just put that on there. It's just fun, like, just figuring out, like, and not even really figuring, but just, just gluing. I might need a better microphone if I'm going to do ASMR. <laughs> Get another microphone, maybe. I love the sounds of crafting. The paper trimmer and the scissors and tearing paper and, you know... So yeah, so that looks pretty cool. Then I could just put this right over the top. So you could still see little bits of it peeking out. And this could even get magnetized or something. I don't know. I might not put it there. Who knows? But I'm just going to keep working on this. And um, yeah, and I think what I'll do is a string closure or maybe the button one. I think I might do the button one where you attach a button on a long string and then you wrap the string around and then it twists around the button. I haven't done that for a while. It's one that Carla, I think Carla did it on her channel and I just thought it looked really cool. And I did some other envelopes with that type of closure before. So, um, so let me, I will continue working on the rest of these envelopes and figure out exactly how I want to put these all together this was just kind of my like thinking right like I'm just playing with this one um, but I wanted to make a video and show you guys you know kind of where I was um, so that's how I've, that's how far I've gotten on this one and um, yeah so I will like I said get the rest of them kind of up to this point or whatever <laughs> and then I will make another video and we'll just continue we'll just continue playing with the old French ephemera that I have decided I'm going to use and stop hoarding. Okay. 
All right, you guys, let me know what you think. And uh, I will talk to you very soon. Okay, bye for now.